Hi everyone and welcome to another video on Turn to Data. In this video, we will see how to create a pie chart in Excel. Let's get started. So in order to create a pie chart, all you need to do is just select your data. Once you select your data, you have to go to the insert tab and then under charts section, you will find the option to insert a pie chart. Now let me just explain this data to you. So here I have taken a random data set where we are discussing about ice cream sales in 2023. And on the left you have some flavors, on the right you have how many individual units of each flavor were sold in the year 2023. Alright, so I am selecting this data, I will go to insert tab and there is the pie chart. Once you click on it, you will get a drop down like this where uh, I'm not pressing anything now. I'm just keeping my cursor on top of it. So you have, you have option to insert 2D pie like this, okay? And then you have 3D pie options and you have a donut chart as well. So for the purpose of this video, let me explain 2D pie chart to you. Just click on it and your chart is inserted. Now it's a bit huge uh, as compared to the area of the Excel sheet. So I'm going to reduce the size. So once you click on the chart, you will get the, you know, get the controls to reduce the size. Just let me just reduce it like this. Okay. All right. I think this, this is good enough. Cool. So we'll do a few formatting here. Now you may notice that it is very similar to how you insert other forms of charts. In our last video, we had discussed how to insert column chart. Uh, if you have not watched that yet, I'll leave the link to that video in the description. All right. So this is our chart. In order to move it around the sheet, you can just click on this uh, white area on the chart. Click anywhere and just drag it. All right. So you can move the chart like that. Now, let's first change the chart title. So the chart title currently is unit sold. We want it to say ice cream sales in, sales in 2023. So I'll just click here. I can either do a double click, okay? So then you can just remove everything and type whatever you want. This is one way. The other way is just click on this title, come to the formula bar, press an equal to and select wherever your uh, required text is available. So my text is here in B2. So I'll just select this and you can see it has already been populated now and just press enter on your keyboard. So now your uh, chart title has changed. The pie chart says ice cream sales in 2023. Now coming to the design of the chart, once you insert a chart, you know, the chart design and format options get activated. So under chart design, uh, you have multiple options to change the chart styles. You know, you have uh, graded options, you know, different ways you can represent your chart. So I have not clicked on anything. I'm just hovering over the options here. You also have a, you know, scroll button here. You can go and check out these options. So for the time being, I'm just keeping my original chart as it was. Next thing is, if you want to move the legends, uh, you know, you can do that. And you can also change the colors. So there are multiple colors. You can also use a single color in monochromatic fashion. Yeah. So if you want to do this, you can do this or else if you want multiple colors, let's keep it that way. There is another option called quick layout. Quick layout will give you subtle changes to your pie chart. So if I just, you know, uh, hover over some of the options, let me see, let me see, let me see if I want to take any of them. Okay. So I think we are good. We'll just make the changes ourselves. Okay. Now the next thing is legends as I was saying. So come to add chart element, come to legend and here we can place our legend. So at, the, at this moment it is at the bottom. You can see all the legends at the bottom. So what if we wanted to bring it to the right or the top or the left, all right? So I'll keep it on the right because uh, that looks a bit, uh, you know, easy on the eyes and the chart size is also a bit increased now. So this is one way to do it. Now the next thing is uh, if you want to 
add a few labels, right? So currently, you know that let's say butterscotch, it's in uh, orange. It represents some portion of the pie. And also, just to give you an idea, pie charts are usually used when you want to represent something as uh, as part of a whole, right? So, for example, you want to display butterscotch, and you also want to see how much coverage butterscotch has of the whole pie, okay? But we also want to display, let's say, how many units are sold or what percentage of pie is butterscotch or let's say mango is occupying, correct? So to do that, you have something called as data labels. You can add data labels in multiple fashions. Uh, you know, One is you can go to the plus symbol here and there is this data label option. You can uh, check this and it will add the data labels. Another option is if you right click and then it gives you an option to add data labels. Okay, you also have an option to add data callouts. So callouts are nothing but you know you will have something uh, as these. Since we have already mentioned vanilla, mango, and the names of the flavors on the right, we don't need this. So let me just do a right click. Just let me just come here and remove the data layout. Okay, data label. Sorry. So. I'll come here again and I'll just click on add data label. Now, if you see the units sold are added here. What if I don't want the units? All right. So if that is the case, what I can do is I can double click and then on the right, you can see format data label option pops up. This is one way or else I can just go to add chart element, come to legend and then click on more legend options. Okay. That way, uh, I can also see the legends. So we were talking about data labels, right? I'll come to data label, click on more data label options. And on the right, you will see these options. Now, instead of value, what if I wanted the percentage? So if I add percentage, you can see value comma percentage is being shown. So let's re remove the value and let's just keep the percentage. I'll close this. And there you go. You have your data labels uh, added as a percentage. Now, if you want to align them, you can come to data labels and you can just, let's say, keep it on center. And if you want to change the formatting now, I don't know, let's see if we have better formatting available. Or let's say you want to add, change this text to, I don't know, let's change the font of the text to white. Yeah, this is much better. So these are the different ways you can, you know, work with a chart, the a pie chart. There is another option called a pie explosion. So once you click on the pie, let's say you double click on the right, you will see two options. One is angle of first slice and the next one is point explosion. Angle of first slice is if you want to, you know, uh, rotate the pie to reflect one or the other color first, you can do that. So if I just, you know, just move this cursor a bit. You can see the pie changing. If you want to see it in real time, you can just keep pressing this button, you know, the up button, and you can see the pie moving. Okay. So let's say your focus is on, uh, uh, you know, vanilla now. So you can keep it on one side so that, I mean, it again depends on how you are visualizing the data. Next one is point explosion. So point explosion, let me show you. If I just increase this, you can see because I had selected vanilla. You know, I am separating it from the rest of the pie. Yeah, I can do this. Now, if you don't want to do it, and let's say you want to do it for the entire pie, you can do that as well. Okay. So, this is how you do it for the entire pie. And if you don't want to do it for the entire pie and just one pie, let's say the smallest, you know. So, I'll just select that pie. Okay. Double click, come here and do a point explosion like this. All right. So I think uh, I've covered most of it. Uh, this is how you work with a pie chart. And uh, again, as I said, if you want to display something as a portion of a whole, you can uh, use pie charts in Excel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you are yet to. And I'll see you with another video discussing another form of chart next week. Thank you.